We'll turn to the basketball court for our next study tip. Let's pretend you're trying to learn how to play. How are you going to do it? Typically, we divide the skills needed into groups, then work through them one by one. Maybe spend a week or so learn how to dribble. Then once you have that down, moving on to your jump shot, followed by getting your layup form settled. This seems to make sense, but brain scientists have discovered a more effective way to learn based on the principle called interleaving. The idea here is that maybe you only spend a little bit of time on your dribble, then a little bit of time on your jump shot, then a little bit of time on your layup. Then you go back through the order, or better yet, switch it up so that your brain and body need to be ready for whatever is thrown at you. This is kind of a play off of the spacing effect, which we covered in our last video, since you're dividing your practice out over time, and it prepares you for real life where you can't always predict what skill will be needed at any particular point. This principle of interleaving doesn't just apply to the basketball court, but also to the classroom. Let's say, for example, you're reviewing a lot of material for an upcoming math test. You need to know how to graph linear, exponential, and quadratic functions. Don't just study them one at a time, each on their own day. Instead, review each topic when you sit down to study. Or to really challenge yourself, pull a bunch of practice problems and mix them all up. When we're just looking at a handful of linear equations, your brain doesn't have to work too hard to figure out which strategies to use. But if a bunch of different problems are all there, you have to first determine exactly what kind of problem you're facing, decide which strategy fits, and then apply it. This is another example of desirable difficulty. By making your brain work a little harder, you're making the learning stick a lot stronger. So next time you're preparing for a challenging math test or a big basketball game, remember that the principle of interleaving can help you learn how to learn.